What's up, all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net coming at you live from my little craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada. That is my little boy right there. His name is Ambu, and he wants me to open the door, but I don't feel like having the door open today. Anyways, you guys. <laughs> so today I'm making more junk journal embellishments. I'm continuing on my little saga of making embellishments. Let me show you how many I have right now. I showed you guys that little basket. So this basket is getting a little bit full. There is a lot to see in here. I did continue on with what I was doing today and some last night. So, again, I'm trying to get these ready to be listed by tomorrow, possibly by tonight. I'm not exactly sure. We'll see how many I make. Um, but today I'm just continuing on that saga of making more and more embellishments. We're going to make a couple different ones today. Well, actually, we're going to make one kind, and it's going to be really easy. And I'm using my scrap paper here. I'm using scrap paper, which is basically a uh, scrapbook paper that I didn't use. And let's see, I'm going to get the small bits out of here because that's what I want to use. Let's see. Love these printables. Scrapbook paper. Here, here, here. All these little bits. That's what I want to work with. And then later on, we'll work with the bigger pieces out of here. For now, we'll look at these smaller pieces. So what we're going to do, I've done this before. Boo. -boo. There you go. You have a new toy. <laughs> Masha, hello. Hello, hello. So what we're going to do is these are cardstock. <clears throat> so I'm going to be working with cardstock pieces of scrap. And what I want to do is basically sew two pieces together. I'm using my one of my clear plates for my Sizzix as kind of like a straight edge of sorts. And I'm going to cut a couple pieces apart. Probably about one inch. We're going to join two different types of scrapbook papers together. And I use my sewing machine. Of course, you guys can use glue. But I prefer using my sewing machine for this. To join these pieces, I'm going to be using a zigzag stitch. At uh, And I'm changing the length and the width bigger than it is. I'm doing 2.5 on length and 5 points on width, if you need specifics. And we're just going to join those two papers together. I didn't notice I had little bits of paper in my hair that's cool oh it's tape okay that makes <laughs> more sense okay <laughs> and then i'm gonna put one of my little uh die cuts that i have in my shop um, but these are just one of the embellishments that i make and i'm just gonna use a straight stitch for this on the longest length the crafty cottage hello oh i'm glad you finally got me live we're working. We just started. Ooh, okay, why didn't it? Why didn't that work? I don't know. It kind of got stuck there for a second. But there we go. That's our simple embellishment. And I'm just going to do that again. Okay, so one more. And I could have put it to all together actually at once, but sometimes a straight stitch doesn't grab both papers. <laughs> it happens. Here's this little lady, and we're just gonna put her here in the middle. I try not to sew through people's faces. And I could have switched that to a straight stitch, but then I just did a zigzag. But I am using a uh, beige thread, so you really couldn't really even tell. But those just make really simple embellishments. If you have really nice scrapbook paper, it can look a little fancier. Or you could use like real scraps and 
two different types of paper to sew them together and something in the middle. Michelle says, hi, Daisy. Great timing. I just got home with the craft supply haul from my creative review center. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Hi, BB. And we have Minxie here. Oh, yeah, I didn't miss you this evening. 12.52 p.m. here, and I can't sleep because of the stupid fall. I hope you get better soon. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Jade. And hi, Susie from South Carolina. Hello. Okay. So basically, I'm just going to keep repeating that, repeating what I just did. I am using... I can't find, I usually use my mini, um, my mini scoreboard, but I can't find it right now, so I have to improvise. I looked everywhere, I cannot find it, cannot find it. Okay, so we got two pieces here, and again, I'm just making strips about an inch tall. So we got a couple strips to play with here. We got two, two sets to do. So let's get, we're still on a zigzag stitch here. I want the flower to show a little bit, maybe. Maybe. I'm just going to join these papers together. I wanted to use a thread that kind of disappeared. So I, that's why I decided to go with beige. I've kind of been using up all this, what I'm calling scrap bobbins, because I'll load a bunch of bobbins of one color, and then halfway through, I'm done with that bobbin and that project. And then I go to another color. So I'm using up all those little pieces of bobbin that are left and uh yeah so i have a bunch of die cuts here from my store but of course many uh different companies sell die cuts that are like in michael's and such but these ones are from my shop and uh everybody has them and like i said you just mix them together the way that they're gonna look good I think I'll use, oh, there's this little like typesetting machine. That's cute. No, I want something long. Oh, this little hand. That's cute. Boo boo. Oh my gosh, you guys, he wants the door open. Hang on. He can't stand it. <laughs> he says, it's not nighttime, mommy. It's not nighttime. Okay, I thought I could be with the door closed but he sees the sun and he wants the door did you cut your hair i did not girl i just don't have it up in a ponytail <laughs> uh i haven't cut it in like a year i probably need to okay 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 so that's what i'm working with here also i'm going to show you guys I'm just kind of grabbing it off camera okay so this scrap of paper is really cute, actually. So it's going to make for really cute embellishments. And I am trying to work through my scraps. It's practically impossible, but I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. But then, of course, as you create with your scraps, you also make more scraps. <laughs> I don't know if that happens to anybody else. Or is that just me? It might just be me. <laughs> Oh, I like my long hair, except I feel like it's kind of useless because I only have it down for like one day because I just took a shower, so I have it down. After that, it'll be up until I take another shower. It'll, it might be actually up by tonight. That is just how I work. It gets on my nerves sometimes. Okay, so here's two pieces that kind of don't match, but that's okay. Gonna find something that'll match with them. So we'll do this little shoe here. And I think I'm just gonna do a straight stitch down where it's gonna hit everything. Might even do two. I'm gonna 
pull out the two needle attachment, I swear. <sighs> so many scraps of little time, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. Put that on a shirt. <laughs> Put that on a shirt and sell it. <laughs> See, boy, I open the door. Where do you go? Okay, okay. Sometimes he'll hide right. Look how silly he is. Sometimes he'll be right there by the door. <laughs> He's so funny. He's so random. I'm going to cut this off a little bit. And let's see. There's another, another little boot. Boots are good. I'll just put this together like that. And I'm just going to use a straight And I don't know why, but I like making two lines. It doesn't matter if they're crooked or not. It still looks nice. See a little shoe there. I'm grabbing another little scrappy do. I don't know why I'm grabbing all the shoes, but I am. See, these are a little bit too long. Both of these have foils. It's really pretty. Embellishments from scraps. Yes, girl. Yes. Yes. And here, I need to do a zigzag because there's a lot to grab on to. Just like that. And you can do this for a lot of things. Uh, the color scheme doesn't really go that though <laughs> i was trying to say like oh you can use this but that actually won't fit <laughs> with my colors okay so let's make a couple more tears here and i like the look of like a hand cut scrap but i don't like it to be all crooked and jagged edge. So that's why I like to use kind of like a straight edge to make those cuts. It's just kind of my way to gain a little bit of control. So it still looks scrappy, but it's not jagged edged. It just, it has the torn look. It's faux torn. Couple, couple scraps here to work with. So now I am back, and these are just so pretty. I gotta have the pretty scraps showing though. Again, I don't know how you guys like to organize your scraps, but I usually organize my scraps by scrap of paper pad. So I'll put these paper pads actually are not the same, but they look similar, so that's why I put them together. Um, but that's how I normally organize my scraps. Just by a scrap of paper pad, and then some are like straight edge that I like are cut, and then some of them are actual scraps of little papers. It just depends. And then we do a straight stitch here also. And I picked a color thread that will kind of blend into everything, but you can pick one that stands out a little bit more for you. Hi, Patricia. Okay, I haven't seen who's here. It's been a minute. Let me see. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Jade. Did I say hi to Jade? Who did I not say hi to? Turquoise, Dreaming, Sheree. Hi. Patricia. Hi, Patricia. Laura. Hi, Laura. Yes, you can definitely glue these together. You don't need a sewing machine. I'm just really extra, you guys. <laughs> yes, I am just really extra with it myself. I prefer to sew. It's a lot faster for me. I honestly never thought I would ever say that. I'm just, I didn't grow up sewing or anything, so it feels different to say that for me. Now, I can't stack me without my sewing machine. It really hurt. 
really, really hurt without my soap machine. <laughs> and I could probably count on one hand the days on this channel that I did not use my sewing machine. I'm telling you. Oh, I just noticed I have a couple little pieces that are kind of size similar. Sometimes I'll, I'll be fancy like this and I'll tear two pieces of paper at once because I'm fancy. Oops, that one got crooked, but that's okay. Okay, okay. So now we got a couple more pieces to work with. Let's go. Let's go. See, this one's not exactly the same size, but that's okay. It'll get to you. Let's see. Oh, we have this little lady. She'll look cute right there. Let me get you guys the <clears throat> I'll get you guys the link to these items. Well, after the, the little die cuts. These ones are tiny and they come with the order. Um, but most of the die cuts are much larger than this. Oh, let's see. Forgot to make the length uh, longer, but that's okay. She still looks cute. She still looks cute though. <laughs> um, this one's under mystery boxes, and it is the black and white craft Victorian die cuts. These are also available. These are also available uh, as a printable, so you can cut them out yourself if you want to. Okay, so I got more scrappy dudes here. Those kind of don't go together, but hey, that's okay. It's okay. Oh, there's a little fan. This one's too small. <laughs> okay, okay. There's a little, oh, there's a little corset piece here. A little dress form moment happening. Oh, these, this scrap of paper is so pretty. It's got foil in it. It's not exactly trash, I know, but it's cute. <laughs> And it would have gone to the trash, but it's going to go in a junk journal, so. So there's that. Okay, let's just do that. I just kind of did a very wide zigzag stitch on that. It looks cute, though. It looks cute. Okay, I'm working my way through. Then, oh, there's this a little hand again. So it looks kind of cute. I'm going to do a straight side. And I forgot to adjust it again. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll get this right. We'll get this right one day. So that looks cute. You, you're sitting down to fussy cut. <laughs> no wonder <laughs> they censored your your uh, comment. That's really funny, though. <laughs> Sometimes the things that uh, Facebook, sen I mean, YouTube censors and the things that they don't is astonishing sometimes. Okay, okay, okay. And let's see. I have a bunch of shoe die cuts left over. Okay, we're gonna do zigzag on this. We're gonna adjust the width and the length to be longer and wider. So that looks cute. I'm gonna do a straight stitch now. I have a hundred stitches and honestly, I usually only use the straight stitch and the zigzag stitch. Jane, hi Jane. Let's do a straight stitch here. I'm gonna do one more straight stitch. Again, you can totally just um, use glue. You can totally just use glue. 
it would be the same. The same effect would be accomplished. My little straps. Here's this little bicycle. Let's go for it. We're just gonna do one zigzag, maybe. Sometimes I feel like adding a decorative straight stitch. Let's go. Yeah, let's do a straight stitch. And for paper, I really try and go, I use straight stitches, but on the longest setting of the stitch is better for me. In, in my in my head, nobody said it, <laughs> except me. <laughs> I love the little sewn embellishments. I need to sit down and just make like this. Yes, girl. Even if all you do is put these little things together, just like little two pieces and then come back later, do it. Do it. <laughs> Just spend some time doing one part of it, and then you can come back and do another part another day. I like just feeling a little bit productive, even if it's a little, <laughs> little things. And we'll do a straight stitch here. And I feel like even just doing one thing for an hour, you'll create a bunch. You see this? You'll create a bunch of embellishments <laughs> really fast. You'll build a nice little stash there for yourself. Uh, who's here? Nettie. Hi, Nettie. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Okay, we're working through the little strips here. We are working it. Oh, there's this little crown. It's a little too small. And these, to me, these are scrap also die cuts because these are the ones that didn't get posted to my store. Well, these are the ones that are not in sets because they're just, they're just like the leftovers. I put in the regular size die cuts and then I would put in small ones. Um, and these are pretty much all the small ones left. Okay, okay, here we go. Okay, so there, and we're gonna zigzag stitch that together. Okay, here we go. That looks good. Again, I wanted to use a thread that kind of blended into it. You can definitely use a more colorful threads if you wanted to. It was just a choice that I made at the time. <laughs> it just happened. Um, let's see. See, I have more shoes. Gotta do the shoes. Then. That's a long shoe. That's not a big girl. That's, yeah, that's a shoe for girls. It's really long. Okay. <laughs> it just looks a little weird that it's so long. Maybe that was the style. It just reminds me of this uh, video that I saw about uh, Mexican pointy boots. <laughs> I'm like, well, this is this is one of those pointy boots too. Okay. So now we gotta make more little scrap dudes. Definitely no shortage of scraps here to make stuff out of. Let's see. Again, I'm just making about one inch strips. I don't know where my mini but um scoreboard is. I'm like, what happened? <laughs> okay, 
I'm going to need a lot of scraps. I can only do about two cardstock pieces. I'm not trying to hurt my hand. Okay. 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 We got some more pieces here to work with. Back to sewing we go. Really cute scrap of paper here. Good selection. Oh, 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 there's this little lady. I think tomorrow I'll start the new junk journal. <clears throat> I really want to do, I'll probably do that little Avon box or I want to do a paper bag journal. I'm not sure. If you guys didn't see the little Avon box, you guys have to see a little Avon box. Of this. I know some of you might not have seen it, but I did get this little Avon box last time I went to California at an estate sale. And I say Avon because it does say Avon on top. Somebody said it might be from the 70s. Um, but it's just such a really pretty foiled box, you guys. And it looks like a little armoire, almost. And it's foiled all the way around. And I thought this would make, like, the most precious um, junk journal cover. So I think I want to do that. Let me know what you guys think. Should I do this or should I do a paper bag junk journal? What do you guys think? This are a paper bag, a junk journal. What do you guys think? <laughs> okay, so let's get back to actual work here. To the task at hand. I'm trying so hard not to toss this in the pile of embellishments that I've been making or working on. And it's hard not to. Okay, so. This gold foil piece. Okay, this one's kind of larger. Good. A larger, let's see. Salts. Smelling salts. I forgot what they said they used these in case they fainted or something. Oh my god, you guys. I have I have to cut my nose hairs. They're like itching me from the inside. It's terrible. <laughs> In case anybody wanted to know <laughs> how I'm feeling right now. I feel like I'm being like scratched from the inside of my nose. Okay, so that's cute. Okay. And I'm going to do this. I like having the more scrappy pieces on the outside. So you see more of that. Oh, 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 there's this nice lady. This nice lady. Okay, let's do that. I'm just gonna, again, my thread is white, so you won't really see it. I normally don't like to sew through people's faces, but it's just a little bit of our head. <laughs> That box would be so beautiful as a junk journal. Wish there was more than one, right? Me too. <laughs> I do wish there was more than one. I got that box for free. April was like, um, April from Pink Oddbird. She was like, oh, put it in with everything and they'll probably give it to you for free. And you guys, they did. They gave it to me for free. So yeah, I was going to pay for that box, but I mean, there was nothing in it. <laughs> and I guess they didn't want to charge me. <laughs> Uh, so they did it. So that was nice. Let's keep on going, you guys. Let's keep on trucking. Okay. See, and then, okay. I turn around, I think he's not looking out the door, and he is. <laughs> he loves that door being open, you guys. Oh my god, he loves it. As soon as I close it, he starts crying. And, um... I actually try and keep that door open as long as possible for him. Like, even into the nighttime, um, I have a privacy screen, as you can see. 
and uh, at night. So right now during the day you can't see through it, but at night you can. And so at night I have to drape over a bed sheet that I don't really use. I have to drape over a bed sheet over the door so that people can't look inside, but he can look outside. The things I do for this cat, I swear. <laughs> I swear. If I could, though, I would get him a little outside area, but there's a lot of cats around here, so. So I don't know if I really want to do that. I just put together my first junk journal from a cereal box. Ooh, that's another thing I have. I have a couple of cereal boxes that I want to do. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have to like set up a, like a tent, basically. Like I make him a little triangle there so he can look out. <sighs> Otherwise, he'll cry. <laughs> and as soon as I close the door, he's like, open it. <laughs> As soon as, as soon as it hits about 10 o'clock in the morning, he knows I might open the door. So he's, he'll start crying at about 10 o'clock in the morning. Talking about open up the door. And it's been cold, you guys. <laughs> it's been cold. But now it's pretty fresh and he's very happy because the door stays open a lot longer. And it's nice weather. <laughs> So this one, some of them you'll be able to do in one stitch, and some of them you'll need two. So sometimes you can get away with um, just doing a zigzag stitch to keep it all together. I do like the look still of the zigzag and the straight stitch. I still like that, though. Hi, Donna. Welcome. Our animals own us, girl. Oh, my God. Do you see him? Do you see him? <laughs> I do everything for that boy. <laughs> the longest me and this boy have been apart is about a week. Because I had to go to Mexico with my grandma. And I left him with my mom here. Actually, we were staying here with her. But now I live here without her. <laughs> um, and I left him for, I left for a week. That was the longest we've ever been apart. Other than that, since the day we got this boy, he's been home with me. <laughs> he's been home with me. He's such a spoiled little boy. Zigzag here. We'll keep this together. And, okay, so I've been the one that spent all that time with him, and his dad is his favorite. <laughs> guys don't even know when my husband gets home this cat is the most happiest like his best friend just got home <laughs> he cries before it. my husband even gets to the door and as soon as my husband gets in he says hi to me and then he has to say pick up then he has to pick up this cat and let the, the cat give his hand little licks like we call it little kisses <laughs> His, my husband is everything to this cat. <laughs> uh, hi, Melissa. My first live with you, LaTanya. Hi. Oh, oh, happy scarf we sent you. Hey. Say hi to her. I need to go out and come back in. Having trouble with my video and loading. Oh, no. Jane, Patricia, Nettie, Jane. I have only done altered books. I have yet to sell a journal together. Oh, well, you know what? You stick with what you feel comfortable with. And when you feel like you want to do something new, then do it. I like to try things out at my own pace. That's just me. I definitely got comfortable with certain things before I moved on to other things. So, you're not alone. You're also not alone. Okay, okay. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Oh, here's this little corset. That's just adorable. Okay. There's also lots of other things I could try, but I kind of stick to the same things over and over myself, honestly. Honestly. 
and that's okay. <laughs> everybody goes at their own pace. And everybody has their own limitations. Like, my hands hurt if I do too many things. So that's why I try and stick to the one type of journal that, like, I know I'm okay working with. So there's that. But you don't have to explain yourself to nobody. <laughs> I hate sewing in the signatures. Oh, my God. I think, I think that's everybody's sentiment. I think everybody hates that. I always hold my breath. I forget to breathe <laughs> when I'm sewing signatures. And you guys, I've made, I don't even know, like close to 100 junk journals. And I'm still like, <gasps> <laughs> every time, every time. It never fails. Oh, there's this little bell. That's cute. Let's go down. Little teeny tiny Okay, that's cute. Okay, let's go with jumped right in and made three junk journal signature turned out okay i should have added more pages though you know what you learn i have a couple junk journals that, <laughs> that are never finished because i kind of messed up but don't worry about it <laughs> i kind of just keep them how about a house fire for limitations yeah that's a that would limit you for reals what happened oh my goodness oh nightmare girl nightmare oh my god i'm so sorry so i have me oh. I am sorry, that is tough. Let's see, Hubster is home and it's dinner time, so I gotta go. But have a good night, everybody. Thank you for sharing this. Can't wait to meet you. Girl, have a good night. <laughs> have a good dinner. Yes. Okay. Okay, so. We got more strips, more strips to work with here. We don't have to stop. I have some butterflies, but how come with them? Oh, here they are. Here's one. That's cute. Had it on the wrong stitch. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> we needed a zigzag stitch. Okay, do it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Luckily, it's junk journals, so it's okay if it's all crooked. Look at this. I have a nice little stash going on. It looks good. I'm going to feel proud when I add it to my actual stash. Which I want to. But I'm not going to do it yet. Okay, okay. I'm just looking over for this boy to get bored with this door being open, but it's just not going to happen. Okay. Right here, right here. Zigzag, it's on. Okay, my biggest fear lost everything. Ergo, and everything is fine. Oh, fine electrical. Would you love to know how to you store all your signature papers? Oh, all the papers that I use for my signatures right now, I have in a file cabinet. I just switched it up. But I have them in a filing cabinet. I don't think my camera would have been there. <laughs> I'm thinking if I could get my camera over there, but I don't think I could. I don't, I don't think I could. No, I wouldn't reach. <laughs> but they're all in a filing um 
filing cabinet and filing uh, folders right now. So I'm trying to get everything to fit because I have 12 by 12 papers, but I have to cut those down to eight and a half by 11 so they fit there, which is what I need anyways to make the drunk journals. So right now that's where they are. I've bought a metal ca uh, file drawer and I moved everything there. I need to do a room tour soon. I also need to clean my room. <laughs> I keep saying when I clean my room, I'll do it. It might have to be a pre-filmed show because I don't have a camera I can move around. So I have to use my webcam. So I would just have to, I don't know how to figure it out. Let's do straight stuff. Steamer trunk is adorable. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. There's these little. Where did they go? Oh, gosh. There's another shoe. There's a lot of shoe images in the set. I'm okay with it. <laughs> I'm okay with it. I'm at peace with it. Good. That little, I swear, you guys, it's like that door. It's like you turned on the television for him. He loves it. Loves it. And it was actually here in this house when we moved here that I realized that he liked to look at the door. Because my mom always keeps her door open. And I never did. <laughs> I, I don't. Um... Switching over from full time card making. Card make. I remember when I made the switch too. <laughs> I still have a pile of greeting cards I should probably do something with. They're basically junk journal covers. I could probably switch the sediments or something. I don't know. I have a bunch of them. I should figure out what to do with them. Or, like, make them thank you cards or something. Something. I should do something. Oh, there's a little tray. There's a little tray. It's so cute. Oh, my God, a tray. Just trying to move it into place. Okay. And we'll zigzag stitch this up. There we go. And then I want to buy two like bookcases to be here or I want one bookcase, but they don't really make it that size. So I think I'll have to buy two bookcases to go back here so that I can put my embellishments that are done and they could be accessible to me. So that's one thing I want to do to fix up my little craft room to better suit my needs. That's what I'm like really on. I want to make things better for me and more accessible to me, at least the more important things. I ended up putting my tools on my little Rascog cart so now I can bring my tools over. Um, and because my tools were all the way hanging on one of my books on one of my shelves, but I wanted them near me, so I decided I actually put too much stuff all over my desk. So. Better to have them on the brass cock cart where I can roll it to me and then roll it away, you guys. Yes, into covers. I'm going to do that because I, I have not. I actually didn't sew on my green cart, but maybe I could now. Sorry, you guys. I'm going to have to go. I keep nodding off. <laughs> well, hey, I'm glad I could uh, make you sleepy. Minx. <laughs> Minxy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Lou Ellen. Hi, Lou Ellen. I just saw your name, girl. Get some water. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so I need to make some more strips. This will have some time to go. So let's keep doing it. You guys, I'm gonna I'm honestly gonna keep doing this for hours. You don't even know because I have let me show you my little pile now. If you weren't here in the beginning of the video, I showed all of my all of the embellishments that I've been making over the last couple of days here all stashed up. I like feeling like I have a big old treasure chest right now of embellishments because I do. This container is pretty big and it is pretty full. I'm not gonna say it's halfway full, but I mean, there's a lot of small pieces in here. So I don't even know how many is in here. I'm trying to get a bunch to sell. So of course you guys can see here, I have a big old stash. So I'm just excited to add this to the mix, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, yes, I do need the baskets, definitely. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And my husband was trying to tell me, like, do you really need all those baskets? Like, yes, I do. What are you talking about? <laughs> do you know what I do? <laughs> do you know who I am? I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, my goodness, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I should have done that the other way. I guess I'll live. Oh, wait. You guys aren't seeing, you guys are missing all the action. All the action is down here. <laughs> These bits are a little bit smaller, but I guess I'll live. Scraps are scraps. Again, I like the look of torn paper, but I like it in a more controlled setting. So that's kind of why I like using a straight edge to use to cut it up in a nice way. Like that. Okay, so now I got more strips. Ooh, this one didn't get cut up. What is up with that? Okay. I definitely have a lot more paper to work with, so you guys, this project is really, like, <laughs> unless you don't have a lot of scraps, this is pretty much a never-ending project. <laughs> you could also even make a bunch of strips already. Just have them ready to go. Let's see. Oh, there's this little balloon. It's a little bit too big for this. But, let's see, there were some smaller pieces. This is still too big, but we'll, we'll cut it in a second. Okay. Okay, so that one's way too big, but now we can just cut it to size and it still looks good. Still looks pretty good. I'm doing straight stitch just for the look, honestly. Just for the look. I need to build sash embellishments, but my sewing machine is over 15 years old and doesn't work good. You have to push everything through. Oh no. Uh, make sure you clean the inside of it for dust. Uh, oil, I guess. You might need oil. Or you might need a new machine, girl. It might be time. Let it go. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just joking around. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so. So, okay, there's this little. Oh, 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 oh. This one's one of my favorite go-tos, and it's, I guess I have a lot of them, so let's do it. Let's see here, okay. Zigzag. Where are all those wonderful die cuts coming from? Are those yours? Yeah, they are from my shop. 
you can check them out right there. I also have them as a printable. So if you want to cut them out yourself, you can. You get that. I'll also link it down below after the show is done being live. It's part of my ephemera set. Or I didn't even, there's actually two sets of the printables if you guys are interested in them. There's one of the printables. And I also have another set. So I take from both sets to actually make the, the, the die cuts. And uh, these are exactly the sets that I use to make. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. You plan on buying a new machine very soon. Girl, you guys, I, I'm honestly like very, very new to sewing. Probably... Probably what, like in like two or three years now, though. Oh my god, never really thought I would ever use a sewing machine. Did not growing up, did not growing up. My mom had, I think she had a sewing, yes, yeah, she did because she would have my dad's pants because we're really short. Oh, yeah, yeah, she would have my pants too because I'm short as heck. <laughs> I've always been short. And so, yeah, she did have a sewing machine, but I never was interested in using it at all. Um, until just seeing everybody else doing cool things with their sewing machine when it came to junk journals, you guys. Because I used to make journals without sewing. Um, and I used to make my little collages without sewing. Oh, I should show you guys a journal or, yeah, a book that I made. And it's like one of the, it's not the first, but it's one of the first. I'll show you guys in one second before I log off. Let's see. Because y'all, it's time to eat dinner and you make some rice. I'm hungry. I need to cook up my salmon. Oops, I'm supposed to use the zigzag stitch. Yeah, because I have one junk journal. I was actually looking through it the other day. And I think I have, because I decorate every single page, right? And I always have. Um, and I don't know why I didn't decorate the last, like, five to ten pages of this junk journal. And I just never touched it again. <clears throat> but let me show you. It is so pretty, actually. So here's what we made right now. And I'm going to go ahead and add this to my stash. And I'm going to go ahead and keep making these because I have a lot of die cuts to go through. So that's going to be exciting. Um, but let me show you guys this junk journal because it's beautiful. Um, and, uh, it's so large and I just never finished it, you guys. I just, I don't know why, I just never did. It is actually made from uh, cereal box, yeah. I used to make them from cereal boxes. And it's three, four signatures, you guys. No, I don't do four signatures. I have, I don't think I've ever done a junk journal with four signatures since this. And I'll tell you why. It was too big for me to do. And decorating every page like I do, it just took me forever and I just never finished it. But um, this is one of my favorite paper pads from Recollections. And you see, I keep using the same items over and over. <laughs> and these, it's full of my printables. So, um, and I, there's a, I think every single page in this is coffee dyed, I think. Or a Kool-Aid. I dyed some with um, alcohol inks, not Kool-Aid. And you see, I used to make collages, but without choosing uh, my sewing machine. I used to do all my little collaging. I used to think it's strange for me to see this now with no sewing whatsoever on it. <laughs> it's really, really strange. It almost feels like really plain. You see that? Loved to do my collaging on there. Even with the same die cut still, same flower still. This one's years old. I don't even know how old this is. I don't think I signed it or anything. And I think I covered it with like a paper bag or something. But this was a really fun journal. And like I said, it's just not decorated. The last couple pages I just didn't decorate. 
and I just left it. I don't know why. <laughs> I could not tell you why, but like I said, I like to decorate every single page. And it might have just been a little bit too much for me. There's just die cuts everywhere, and there are some places where I did do a little bit of collaging. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> keep it in a closet yeah it's it's a pretty nice decent size uh i oh this one was a fun um collage on an envelope that i dyed with alcohol inks and the whole blend in the background is so pretty i love it i love it you guys i used to like to put this little moon die cut with a little flower on its head oh that used to be fun to do uh, the sewing machine, beautiful junk journals, it would not be in my closet. And this is actually even pamphlet stitch. It has four, no, five holes, pamphlet stitch. I don't even do that anymore. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done that uh, style of junk journals. I don't do it anymore. It's too hard for me. It's a lot easier for me to just go ahead and... Um, do it with the sewing machine. It's just a lot simpler for me. So anyways, you guys, I just wanted to show you guys this journal has, has not seen the light of day in quite a while. Uh, I definitely did not show it off because I didn't finish it. So I never showed it off. And I think I even used wax thread. Yeah, that's wax thread. Oh, look at me, fancy pants over here using wax thread and everything. But, oh, look, that's pretty. Oh, I need to make more... Um, alcohol ink dyed papers the color you get is just so pretty definitely uh different than kool-aid dyeing but it looks really really pretty anyway so yeah i just did it uh oh look that's pretty i used to do huge collages with different die cuts and everything like that i used to go all over the top i still do i just don't do such big collaging i do smaller things um, but yeah, I just didn't decorate. Look, you guys, there's just literally like 10 pages that I didn't decorate. And that's why I never showed this journal off. But anyways, I'm going to log off, you guys, and I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, we'll probably start a new junk journal just because I'm kind of like, oh, I want to start a new project. So we'll probably start the, the Avon box tomorrow. So if you guys want to come back and join me for that, I would be really grateful. If you guys enjoyed this video, give me a, a little thumbs up and subscribe. I do post new junk journal videos pretty much every single day. You guys know I can't stay away from my little junk journal. So tomorrow we'll start a new junk journal and uh, we'll keep it going. I'll probably come back and work through the weekend because my husband is going to California. So I'll be home alone. I don't have to try and be quiet for him to, you know, do his thing. <sighs> so anyways... <clears throat> I'll probably be back this weekend uh, doing some work on this junk journal because tomorrow I'll probably only have enough time to get it prepped and maybe even put the signatures in and then I'll have to decorate it. So you guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for, so much for hanging out with me. Bye. I swear I hit end stream, it takes longer and longer every time to end. <laughs>